Hi, so this is the first problem of day 11 of our 15 days of Math Smart Puzzle Challenge. And here we have this series of squares where we have this one bigger square and inside it from these points we have another square and then we have another square and then we have another square. So we have to find the area of this fourth square from outside which is shaded in gray. So we are going to solve this problem in two ways. One method is pure calculation and another method is without any calculation you can directly say what will be the area of this shaded region. So let's first do the calculation then only you will be able to appreciate another method more. So if I name this square outer square as ABCD then the area of ABCD will be equal to S square where S is the length of one side of the square. This is given as 16 square units that means each side of that square is square root of 16 that is 4 units right. So AB is 4 units and considering the symmetry of this drawing we can peacefully imagine that all these points they are the midpoints of the sides of our original square. So that means AG will be 2 units, GB will be 2 units and similarly all these will also be equal to 2 units because our original figure is a square. So this is 90 degrees, this is 2 units, this is 2 units. That means this triangle, triangle ADG is an isosceles triangle where both these angles will be equal and they will be 45 degrees each. Similarly all these angles will also be 45 degrees. So from here also we can see that DEFG is actually a square where each angle is equal to 90 degrees and each side can be found as the square root of 2 square plus 2 square that is equal to square root of 8 which can be written as 2 root 2 and this is from the Pythagoras theorem because A ADG is a right angle triangle and hypotenuse DG can be found by adding the squares of both the sides and then taking the square root of that. So this is equal to DG. So this is a square whose each side is equal to 2 root 2. So the area of the square DEFG will be equal to 2 root 2 multiplied by 2 root 2 which will be equal to 2 to the 4 multiplied by 2 8 square units. So what can you say? The area of the bigger square, the outer square was 16 square units and when I join the midpoints of that original square, I get another square whose area is exactly half of the outer square, right? Similarly, if I name these points as PQRS, the area of PQRS will be half of the area of square DEFG and this will be equal to 8 divided by 2 that is 4 square units and similarly if I name this innermost square as W, X, Y and Z the area of square W, X, Y, Z will be equal to 1 by 2 the area of square P, Q, R, S and this will be equal to 4 divided by 2 that is 2 square units right so this was using the mathematics it's a lengthy process but let's use origami so you might have done it in your childhood so here we have our original square and if I fold it into half by aligning this point to this point and this point to this point and this edge to this edge it will look something like this and now I'm going to fold it once again in such a way that this point aligns with this point and this point comes over this point and this edge comes over this edge so it will look something like this and now when I open it this paper will look something like this and you can also see these folds on this paper. Now what you have to do is you have to take this point of this square and fold this paper in such a way that this coincide with this center point of the square. Then it is going to look something like this and if I follow the same procedure with all these vertices of the square we will have a figure which will look something like this and you will actually have a perfect shape with exactly two layers of papers. So when you fold a paper like this 
the surface area of the paper actually gets reduced exactly into half. So since the area of the outer square was 16 square units, the area of this square will be 16 divided by 2 and then the area of this square will be half of this square that means this again gets divided by 2 and finally the area of the shaded square will be half of this that is 16 divided by 8 which is 2 square units. So this shaded region we get by folding the original square three times. Suppose if I have a square of area A and I keep folding that square in this fashion for n number of times, then the area of the final square or the smallest square which you will get after folding it for n number of times will be A divided by 2 to the power n. So this was actually a very simple problem, but the second problem is slightly tricky. So next video has the solution for the second problem. So keep watching MathSmart and bye-bye till then.